How's everyone doing? I am all the way in Woodstock, New York, here for a very special limited time pop-up event. This is known as the Cheese Inn Diner, and it is a retro-themed diner with everything made out of Cheez-Its, one of my favorite snack foods. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Come with me. I underestimated just how popular this event was gonna be. This is the line for dine-in. And this line this way, going down around the block there, you can't really see it. That's the line for takeout. All right, so I've been here for about an hour and I'm still waiting in line. And this is just the line to put your name in for a table. It's not even the line to get in. So I'm gonna be here for a while. So I just wanna point out a few details here. This front fence they have, it's all Cheez-Its. The square shape of the hole in the middle. And the columns on the building, also made out of Cheez-Its. This was an old 50s drive-in, or at least 50s style drive-in, and they've repurposed it as the Cheez-It pop-up. Very cool. Okay, so I just waited in line for about two hours, and I that was the line to put my name in, and I'm gonna be waiting for another hour and a half before they call me, so. <laughs> They really underestimated the demand of people. I kept seeing a lot of buzz on this on my Instagram feed, and I thought, you know, this would be a fun thing to do on the weekend. <laughs> I didn't realize just how many people were gonna be coming out for it. But it's a lot of fun, it's really cool, I think it's gonna be worth it. It's one week only, which I think is kind of a little too short for a pop-up like this. I think maybe a month or even two months would be good. But we're gonna, we're gonna wait, we're gonna check out some more stuff, and we're gonna get some cheese hit food later on. And get a look at this. They have a classic Cadillac with the Cheez-It logo on it. Take a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, and they even have um, Cheez-It fuzzy dice. <laughs> look at this. Check out this cool faux neon cheese it diner light. Really neat. And we can see right here we have a cheese it tasting bar where you can try different flavors of cheese it. You have original, white cheddar, hot and spicy. I think I've tried just about all of those at some point or another. So let me know down in the comments below what's your favorite flavor of cheese it's. Mine has got to be the white cheddar. I just think they're the best. Oh yeah. White cheddar is where it's at. And right here we have a stand selling Cheez-It merch. You can get hats, t-shirts, looks like you can get some postcards. Looks like they sold out of most of the postcards at this point. But just check out these cool biscuits. And this is pretty cool. You can put a pin on the map of the United States to see where you come from. Looks like we have people coming from far and wide to go to the Cheez-It Diner. So I'm gonna put a pin here. From Jersey. Right there. And just check out all these cool Cheez-It themed signs. Very much like a retro diner. And this cool fractal Cheez-It pattern. They really went all out with the cheese it theming on this place. Now let me just show you this wall here with all these vintage cheese it boxes. Now these are really old. I don't think I've ever seen any of these in store. And you know, I've been around a little while now, but I don't remember ever seeing any of them. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at this cheese it display case. We have some crocheted cheese its on top. And down here, we have some boxes of all our favorite Cheez-It flavors. How many of these have you tried? I think I've tried almost all of these at some point in time. I'm a big fan of Cheez-Its. And down here we have two Cheez-Its in the back seat, some white cheddar. And down here we have a whole mountain of white cheddar Cheez-Its. Look like somebody spilled the box down on the floor. Alrighty, so they have a retro jukebox that actually works by putting Cheez-Its into the coin slot. Let's give this a try. Alrighty, let's put the Cheez-It yep. in the coin slot. All right, and then you can use this thing above the numbers to punch in the number you want. All right, let's see what song we'll pick. Oh, I don't know. 
Let's go, Johnny be good. All right, and that's it. All righty. I just wanna, look, look at this cool bubbles going up, up the side of it. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm just kind of hanging out in the parking lot now. I waited two hours just to put my name in. They told me it was gonna be another hour and a half before they'd call my name. I think I have about a half hour left to go on that. I've been here for around three hours. They really underestimated just how much, how popular this was gonna be, how many people were gonna come out and, and be here. Um, so it's um, been a long wait, but I'm having fun. I'm having lots of fun. I'm really enjoying just the whole atmosphere here. <laughs> Alrighty, so I finally got my table after waiting for about three hours. I'm hungry, but I'm really excited to see what kind of cool cheese in dishes I can get. I even have my own cheese in chair. Alrighty, let's take a look at the menu. We have the extra cheeseburger. Want it, need it, smash it. So this is a pimento cheese topped cheeseburger with a big cheese it cracker. We have cheese it grilled cheese. We have cheese it chicken tendies. And I think it's funny that they wrote tendies and that's sort of become a, a commonly used word. It started off as a very bizarre internet joke. We have mac and cheese. And over here we have a cheese it milkshake. I'm kind of iffy about that, but I think I think I gotta try it anyway. Okay, and my food has arrived. I ordered two things because I kind of wanted to get a taste of everything. We have the chicken tendies, and these are breaded with crushed Cheez-Its. Comes with a cheddar biscuit, and I gotta say, that looks really delicious. We have some hot honey for dipping. And over here we have the burger, which is covered in uh, pimento cheese made out of Cheez-Its. And it said something about a large Cheez-It cracker. I don't see that, but it looks great anyway, so I'm not gonna complain. And then back here, we have french fries tossed in crushed Cheez-Its. All right, I haven't eaten much all day because I knew I was coming here, so let's dig in. Let's start with this burger here. <laughs> That is really good. It has sort of like, um, almost like a nacho cheese taste to it. If you like that sort of thing, I think you'd really, really enjoy this. All right, let's give these cheese it fries a try. That's good. It's not an overwhelming cheese it flavor to them. Kind of a, a little subtle cheesy taste to it. All right, now let's try these chicken tendies. Oh, those are so good. <laughs> it's, it's a chicken tender coated in cheese. It's, I, I, I don't know what else to really say about this. This is something I think I'm gonna have to start making at home. This is, just, this is good. Okay, we have this cheesy biscuit. This looks absolutely scrumptious. Oh, that's really good. It's a lot like the ones you get at Red Lobster. Rest in peace, Red Lobster. I know most of them are closing now. Okay, I was so hungry, I, I demolished that burger almost instantly. And I managed to eat one of the tenders. These are really big tenders. And that biscuit, which was just phenomenal. So I'm gonna take the rest home and share it with my family. So I'm not much of a food critic. Uh, but the burger was amazing. Just that cheese sauce was just so creamy and tasty. And that biscuit was just my, probably my favorite part. It reminded me a lot of the ones you would get at Red Lobster. Fries were great. Chicken tenders, just a really simple idea that was just really done well. So I gotta say, the food here was definitely worth the wait. And definitely fun to just try unique, unique foods featuring Cheez-Its. Okay, and one last thing. I had to try the cheese and milkshake. Let's give this thing a shot. So it's like a vanilla milkshake, but it's got a little bit of saltiness to it. Doesn't taste overly of cheese its but you know they're in there. It's not as bad as I thought it would be.
Well, anyway, we're gonna wrap it up here for the Cheese Inn Diner. What a fun experience. Just, they went really all out with the theming and really made it just such a, a good, fun experience. I can see why so many people came out for this. It was definitely worth the wait. And it was certainly fun to just try all these different food creations using Cheez-Its, one of my favorite snack foods. I would recommend that you come and check this out, but by the time you're watching this video, this is gonna be over already. This was only a week-long pop-up. In my opinion, it should have been longer than a week. Uh, usually pop-ups like this one last at least a month. So I think um, only going a week, I, I don't know. I think you're kind of depriving a lot of people of the experience of coming and checking this out. But I definitely had fun and I want to thank you for watching this video and I will catch you in the next one.